Hey guys, I'm Smarty, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make low poly grass in Blender. And this is so easy. Um, you can make this in about one minute, so this is going to be a really quick tutorial. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make low poly trees like this, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll also be making a lot more videos on development in the future, so you aren't going to want to miss those. Without further ado, let's get right into Blender. All right, so once we're in Blender, we're just gonna make a new file. And basically all we gotta do is um, grab our cube and I'm gonna scale this down. So all I'm gonna do is hit S and then scale this on the X axis. So hit S and then X. I'm just gonna scale that down and then I'm gonna hit S and then Y and I'm gonna scale that down. Okay, so. Now, I'm going to go into edit mode by pressing tab. I'm going to press 3 on my keyboard, or click up here to swap to face select. I'm just going to grab this top face and hit G to move, and then hit Z, and I'm going to move this down. So now, I'm going to scale this on the X axis. So I'm going to hit S and then X. All right. And now, uh, this is kind of where you can f shape it how you want. So I think I'm going to do that. So basically, you're just going to grab this top face, and we're going to extrude this, hit S to scale, and then uh, we're going to extrude it again, move it over, rotate a little bit by pressing R, scale that down. Now I'm going to merge these top vertices by hitting M. All right, so now you have one strand of grass. Oh, I'm going to make this a little bit skinnier here. Doesn't look quite right to me. Um, but now that we have one strand of grass, we can, uh, also I'm gonna create a bend there. Yeah. So once uh, we have this, basically we just gotta duplicate this around. So hit Shift D, look there, hit R, uh, and then just keep doing that and kinda duplicate these until you have a nice clump of grass. Um, also might wanna go into edit mode, add some variation to these. All right, so now you can decide whether or not you want your grass to be flat like this, or you can uh, select it all, right click, and hit Shade Smooth. Um, I personally like it Shade Smooth, but it really depends on the style you're doing for your map. Most of the time you're just gonna do flat, but for the map I'm working on right now, which it's not that great so far, but um, it's gonna be a showcase eventually. For this map, Smooth is gonna look better. So I'm now going to go up to File, Oh wait, first you gotta select these. Uh, hit File, Export, OBJ, or FBX if you want. Uh, and then you can do, name this just Grass, Clump, or whatever you wanna name it, and then save it. All right, so now once we're in Studio, gotta insert a mesh part here, and all right, import your mesh. Those look pretty nice. Uh, now what we want to do is grab our color from our base plate by searching up base plate in workspace and then just copying the color and then pasting it into the color on our grass. And then you can either make this lighter or darker. So it looks a little bit uh, varied. So um, I'm just going to do that. And then these look really nice right between rocks. So I really suggest putting these like right between rocks. And they look super nice there. Can't forget to anchor that but you know like for some reason that just looks so cool also like you can put it in the in cracks and stuff so like if you have a corner here kind of like in real life you can have it kind of coming out there uh scattered around makes maps look a lot more interesting and i don't really see too many games using low poly grass in their map it, it can really make them look a lot nicer with this simple step yeah you can just go around placing these you know wherever Uh, anyways, uh, make sure to subscribe again so you don't miss this tutorial on how to make these type of trees. Or let me know down in the comments what tutorials do you want to see on my channel, what other videos you want to see. And um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.